you like feeling that energy inside that is the soul the deepest part of your being wants to feel joy and the natural love that can flow inside of you there is not only nothing wrong with that it's going to be that way that's how it is it's natural you of course don't want to feel the opposite with that as a foundation right in a perception says okay now pay attention how are you going to get that what are the things you can do to try and bring about feelings of joy and happiness as much as possible and avoid feelings of lacking pain and need the entire human race with few exceptions believes the mind is very smart the mind says i have noticed that when such and such happens outside i feel joy inside it's just the truth i'm sure you've seen that i'm sure you've noticed that if another thing happens outside i feel disturbed inside i feel hurt i feel not well okay therefore i need to get the things to happen outside that make me feel good inside and avoid the things outside that make me feel bad inside have you ever found yourself doing that you'd better smile if you are not careful you will spend your entire life doing that and it becomes a rat race why if you haven't noticed the outside is not going to just magically unfold the way you want all the time therefore that doesn't become a path to permanent well-being it is a path to conditional well-being that's the term we use conditional well-being it's conditioned upon an event happening outside that when it comes into you for some reason stimulates happiness joy and love it can be a person in front of you it can be a job it can be a task to do you really like it you are excited about it you get inspired to do it this is in a perception 
it's not complicated. It should be simple, simple to understand. Why? Because it's the truth. Things happen outside. There are people that disturb you just by being in their presence. You get all upset inside. So now you have to try to manipulate the world so that it is the way that turns you on and doesn't become the way that turns you off. And that is a full-time job, isn't it? You have to constantly be manipulating people, manipulating situations. First, you have to decide what is it that will make me feel good. And so you go to your memory bank to figure out what happened before that made you feel good and what happened before that made you feel bad. And I'm telling you that's where you get your preferences. Some people say the great deep teachings teach you shouldn't have any preferences. The great way is not difficult for those who have no preferences. But that's incomprehensible to a normal person. I have preferences. I have lots of preferences. And I am very committed to my preferences. I don't buy into not having them. How did you get those preferences? Where did they come from? It's not true that you were born with them. It's not some genetic thing. Basically, you have preferences. What are preferences? Preferences are things that your mind has analyzed and figured out. If these things happen, they will make me feel good inside. Therefore, that's my preference. And it has looked at it and is now saying, if those things happen, it will make me disturbed inside. So that's not my preference. That's where you got your preferences. You analyzed your past experiences. That's the data you have in there. 